Okay, so this is going to be on Genesis 1 and 2 and the comparison or parallel with 2021, 2022. Even if we go back to 2020, we can see that the um, zeros in 2020 add up to zero. It means that there is a divine intervention of change because zeros are there. The twos that are in 2020 call the attention to alchemy, which means that if a man or a woman has knowledge of their ability to change or process um, change in their life, then they'll realize that change is um, alchemical, which means that they understand the power of transformation that Jesus had did over in John when his mom asked him, um, told him that it was time for him to turn the water into wine. So turning the water into wine is like moving from nothing to something. So moving from there, 2020 was a um, year where everything came to an, a, a total end. It's a shutdown. Two, tw two twos in there, or say like 2020, when you add it up, you get 40. Four is an alchemical number that suggests that you can chemistry like change things. It's a chemical type of number. So it's called alchemy, alchemy, chemistry. All right. So when we look at alchemy and chemistry, they always did experiments to change things with chemistry. Why? Because that's what chemistry is about. Even in the body, if the chemistry is off, then the body will react differently than it did previously because it's going through a change. So body goes through alchemical change. People go to the doctors and say that they're sick when the they're just going through an alchemical change. Um, chemistry of the body is changing. So 2020 was a alchemical change for society. And it brought us to um, a zeroing um, level, a level of nothingness. And so when you get into nothingness, that means that now it's time to create. Well, when you go into 2021, which is um, number one and is Genesis, that means that there's an individual process. And the individual process is going to be with one person working or individual working through the power of God because that's how God did it. So that person could realize the deficit in 2021, or they could have realized it uh, maybe years ago that there was a deficit in the creation process, which meant that maybe they saw that it was only a man's image being portrayed as someone that could manifest. Or maybe the female's image was left out because what we have in Genesis one is the sun and the moon. The moon represents the female, um, which is why many people didn't have an understanding of how females um, respond and react. They're reactional and emotional because the moon is, uh, it causes emotions until you learn how to master your emotions under the moon. The moon is what brings in the tide and the high tides, right? Um, this is um, also chemistry and alchemical because the moon actually is a pulling of the waves from the moon. So there's a pulling of emotions um, during the moon time, and even, you know, with the eclipse cycle. So 2021 actually brought people into a time where um, they were to look at how they could transform whatever they had went through in 2020. Now, some of this in information and cycling has been going on for decades, but this is a decade of change where men would learn who they are as masters if they took on that um, understanding. The master within each and every one of us is saying in 2021, did you understand that the breath of life was being spoken through you and you were creating in the heavenlies? 
And someone will say yes and some will say no. And the reason why we wanna say that you're creating in the heavenlies is because you don't see what you've spoken yet or what you worked on as in Genesis. Genesis one is a chapter where everything was spirit in the first chapter. The second chapter began to tell you and I, going into the second chapter, let us make man in our image, right? So the second chapter is where man is created and then the woman is brought into the picture. But it's some fine details there because even 2021, many people felt like they were alone and they were single or they were married and single. They didn't know what their relationships were about, but it was needed because 2021 has been a year to bring you into your understanding of your own power, not somebody else's. So when you go over to 2022, what you have is the partnership coming into play. You see, now you can see the alignment, but you don't just see the alignment because 2021 was also the Ruha breath, the Ram, the Aries breath, right? Because if you align it with Aries one, Aries was not with someone. Aries is a sign and energy that has to find out who he is. I am that I am. In the beginning, no one knew that they were I am. They thought that they were personalities. That's why zeroing out in 2020 had to come. They thought they were personalities. They didn't really know that they were. Um, ye are little guys over in, um, I think it's Psalms 83 says it, but you can Google it. All of ye are little guys. So if everything is in the spirit realm and you've spoken it in the spirit realm, in Genesis 1, then the manifestations happens in Genesis 2. Now, the, the con, not the conflict, contrast, but the narrative is to begin to look at the North Nodes and the energy that we in, because 2022 is bringing you into partnerships, which is what your spoken word was already working on, not just for relationships with husband and wives, but community, city and state, right? Because you had spoken in 2021, we're blessed in the city, we're blessed in the field. We got land, we got rivers, we got trees. You know, this is Genesis one. 2021, 22, the manifestation of the land is there. So now I create the man, someone that can take care of the land. And after I have told him what I wanted, I give him a partner. And I also may be giving partners um, as we go along so that they can build communities. But the whole thing is, aligning it to the fertility of now Taurus. The Taurus energy is about fertility, it's about land, it's about the pleasures of life. Um, and that's why God saw that Adam was lonely and he gave him a companion. So, the point that I make and I present is those first two chapters are very important for man to see his creative process and the power of his own creation. Even if he hasn't created after God's kind, he can change it because the, the connection with God is one-on-one -on -one now. The connection with God is one-on-one. -on -one. And that means that whatever I say, it is so. It does not matter if you're walking in that God power, it is so. And when I say if you're walking or not, that means that if you have not accepted it, it doesn't matter. You're still creating. We were always co-creators. And so it is a infinite understanding that we are creating our own realities now. 
So everything that we think about ourselves and others is coming into fruition. And I remember that Bishop Jordan had told me something some years ago. And so he said, let it go. And the reason why he was saying, let it go is, is because if you don't let go of anything that you didn't like before 2020 or during 2020 and towards the end of 2020, then you're gonna manifest it back in your life because of the power you walk in. So this is for everyone that might wanna listen. You know, we're um, giving an understanding because the creative process is in your first two books of Genesis. And then you go on into three. The key is, I had taught my kids a long time ago, God had given us land and he'd given us vineyards to grow. At this point in time, we get it back, especially if you are free of um, if you're free in your mind to understand the world's concept of living, you can create your heavenly concept. So what that means is, is that you're taking your power back and you're not believing that someone else is gonna do this for you. That someone else is gonna do life for you anymore. No one else's prayers can help you get through but yours. Anyone that's teaching on platforms concerning prayer and ministry is teaching people how to be independent. Um, I said in a video earlier, um, I think this week or last week, that anybody that's making people believe that they only have the power to pray is someone that still opposes codependency. And the world is full of codependency, especially, you know, our world, let me say that, because we depend on people to do things that God can do for us. But you can't understand God until you begin to really have time with yourself and understand yourself. And that won't happen unless you've been through some, some type of crisis because the crisis is going to bring you to a breakdown. And as you break down, you begin to see the truth of all things and what really is happening. And then you get your breakthrough. So any questions before we uh, close out? Yeah. Genesis 1 and 2 is very parallel to the realm of God. Because, you know, a lot of people, they talk about astrology and that it's witchcraft, but it is witchcraft if you believe it. It's, it, it is that because that's what you believe somebody else told you. But the realm of God is um, the lamb of God and the ram is on the natal chart. And the ram is uh, called the Godhead. The ram is also called the Ruha breath from um, the, Jew, the Jewish um, faith. Ruha. We have spoken in um, our prayers at times, and even when we speak in tongue, tongues, the Ruha breath, because the Ruha breath will come up and speak its own uh, language or speak through us. Ruha. Raha seke. Ruha. So it's blowing breath into um, us and through us and into things. So the Ruha breath is the ram. It's the number one. It's 2021. It is what we've been doing all this year, building and creating in the spirit. Now, your spiritual building comes down into earth. You know how they say bind it in heaven and bind it in earth. Loose it in heaven and loose it in earth. You've got to speak those things into heaven, which is atmosphere, into um, the universe. And then the universe is supporting us and bringing it back, which is God. 2022 is where you see the manifestations of your work. So... What we do is continue to encourage each other and not get tired on the wall, but recognize the synchronicity of astrology, theology, and psychology because 2022 is a year of harvest. 2022 has the synchronicity to Taurus energy. If someone hasn't been planting, then you cannot get a harvest back. 
If you've been giving out um, heartache and pain, that's your harvest. If you've been giving and helping others and building in community, you've got to see the harvest come back. The key is your, your faith. So Taurus aligns again with 2022, not to mention that Taurus is about um, the fertility of the land. It's about uh, fertility period. It's about the garden. It's about um, planting. It's about the seeds coming forward. And then you also will see Genesis, not Genesis, but Gemini in the process where God had called Eve out of um, Adam because what you see with Eve coming out of Adam is the Gemini energy because it's yin and yang. It's two, darkness and light. And the darkness is indicative to the moon sign, which is the feminine energy. The light, which is the sun, is indicative to the, the male energy. And so that's where we're going to stop tonight. And um if we feel inclined to pick it up, then we will. So we, we've looked at three areas of Genesis and the parallels of 2020, 2021, 2022, and what's happening. So people will begin to come out of feeling bad. You had to feel bad in order to see what needs to change. You also had to change what you didn't like about it. Now, did you do it in spirit or did you do it in the work aspect? Sometimes you got to recognize that spiritual work has to be done and then physical work will come. Sometimes your spiritual work will, it will um, take care of the physical work because the manifestations is going to go and tap somebody out there um, on the shoulder and say, hey, I'm going to align you with someone. Walk this way. And then you meet with someone and things are not as hard as it seems. Sometimes we just think we need to be working because I heard someone say um, today something to that nature. Well, that person, they don't work. They just think they should do this. Listen, they're making a living doing what they're doing. Even if it's not laborious, it doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. As long as it's not illegal. We have to get out of the mindset of believing that we must. So no one, no one labors in work but slaves. So what are we really doing here? You know, when you're saying that I got to go to work, um, people in 2020 was saying, oh, what are we going to do? We're going to go back to work. We got to go back to work. And they don't realize that, listen, life is not the same. It was never going to be the same. The Bible tells you that life cannot be the same, but people are banking on life. Why would you want it to be the same? Especially for minorities. And I'm not just talking about black people. Ain't nothing been fair for minorities because they've been the minor minor players. Now, the good thing about a minority is, is that they have been in the background. Nobody could see them. You should have been doing your work, minorities. You should have been doing your work to get your game straight. You should have known that the game wasn't going to stay the same. I don't care if they play football the same, even when COVID came, they wasn't playing football. Baseball wasn't being played. That, ain't, that has not happened since probably the Great Depression. Mm -hmm. The game changed. But if you don't look at the seasons and times and stop trying to predict that it's a new season by the way that you see it, and you don't see the seasons changing by the universe the way that God changes seasons, or that, yeah, the way that God changes seasons. Because we don't just have summer, winter, spring, and fall. We got seven-year cycles. We have 18-year cycles. And those cycles are unknown because people are not studying to find out what Solomon was actually talking about. I'm not giving all of the answers for a reason. But when you start studying cycles, then you can understand in the spiritual realm, 2021 is about speaking and creating. 
It does not say it manifested until in the second chapter, which means that Taurus's energy is bringing that manifestation in and the new level of wealth, the way the wealth exchange is going to come. All of that is going to peak in 2022. Why? Because it lines up with what I understand the Bible to be and it's Taurus's energy. The manifestation of creation happened in, 20, in, in, in chapter two, which is 2022. So God bless us. And oh, we have some classes coming up. As a matter of fact, starting tomorrow, moon signs. So you guys get in on that. 12 steps through the moon. Understand what's behind the moon for you. Because behind the moon is the energy of the female. It could be good or it could be something that you need to transform to bring it into goodness. So email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com and be blessed. Bye-bye.